So if you're building anything serious with LLMs right now, you know this feeling. You get everything working, it's powerful, and then you just hit a wall. You hit the deployment wall. Yeah, it's the biggest point of friction when you try to go from, you know, a cool research project to a real product. Get this size mismatch problem. Exactly. Yeah. You've trained this amazing model. It's maybe 51 gigabytes of pure intelligence. And then you try to run it on something normal, like an RTX 3090. Or a 4090. A great card, but it maxes out at 24 gigs of VRAM. It just, it doesn't fit. So your beautiful 51 gig model is just a file. You can't run it efficiently or maybe at all unless you go buy these super expensive server GPUs. And that really limits who can use the technology. Which brings us to the solution we have to talk about today, quantization. Okay, so what is that exactly? The best analogy I've heard is uh, it's like JPEG compression, but for the AI's brain. I like that. Yeah, so you take a 50 megabyte raw photo, you can pr press it to a five meg JPEG. You lose a little detail, sure, but it looks pretty much the same. And for an LLM? You take that 50 gigabyte model and you shrink it down to maybe 13 gigabytes. Oh. That's a huge reduction. Yeah. And that makes it fit on all that consumer or, you know, mid-range enterprise hardware. Okay. That is a staggering reduction. But how do you compress the model's brain without making it, you know, dumber? That is the key question. The technique is very specific. It focuses almost entirely on compressing the model's weights. And the weights are the... The learned knowledge. The learned parameters, yeah. They're static, they're stored in the file, and they are most of the file size. But the activations... Okay, what are those? That's the data that's actually flowing through the network when the model is thinking, when it's doing the math. Those are kept at a much higher precision. Ah, okay, so you keep the thinking part high quality. Exactly. So we get huge memory savings, speed boosts. <laughs> What's the catch? Nothing in computer science is ever free. The trade-off is precision. You are literally making the numbers in the model less precise. And if you do that badly? If you do it badly, the model starts to fall apart. It hallucinates, it produces gibberish. But if you do it well, the quality loss is so small that only a benchmark can detect it. So for anyone listening who needs to get a model into production, like today, let's just lay out the default recipe. It's a shopping list. I like it. So if you're building anything serious with LLMs right now, you know this feeling. You get everything working, it's powerful, and then you just hit a wall. You hit the deployment wall. Yeah, it's the biggest point of friction when you try to go from, you know, a cool research project to a real product. Get this size mismatch problem. Exactly. Yeah. You've trained this amazing model. It's maybe 51 gigabytes of pure intelligence. And then you try to run it on something normal, like an RTX 3090. Or a 4090. A great card, but it maxes out at 24 gigs of VRAM. It just, it doesn't fit. So your beautiful 51 gig model is just a file. You can't run it efficiently or maybe at all unless you go buy